Welcome to the booth of Magna here at the IAA. Magna is one of the biggest suppliers for the car industry worldwide, but loads of people do not know the brand. And this is reason enough, I think, to talk to the Magna experts to let them explain what they brought to the show. What we present on our stand is how we, using the right mix of materials, provide our clients the right parts out of the perfect material. We are talking about multi-materials like steel or aluminum in combination with composites or plastic. So we can create a perfect mix of an economical and lightweight component for our customers. The complexity always comes with a detail. An employer working at our assembly line must build completely different cars in a short period of time. He needs to remember a lot of things and must be able to follow different processes. On top, our whole infrastructure must be able to produce different vehicles, one after the other, quite quick. And I think it's one of our main strengths to be able to do so. Yeah, so Magna Seating is a global tier one seat supplier. And in regards to future mobility, we've done a lot of research with consumers to understand their pain points and their needs. So we're here today to demonstrate some of our capabilities when it comes to reconfigurable seating and new mobility. So in particular, we're going to be able to share how the user experience is going to change inside the vehicle in three different scenarios. Car sharing, personal ownership, as well as ride sharing. Because the goal is to enable the seats to adapt to the consumer and not the other way around. So, if you'd like to see, I can share with you what that experience would be like. So, in the first mode, this is a car sharing scenario. And in this scenario, imagine you drive your car to work. And rather than let it sit idle in the parking lot or at your home, you decide to rent it to a delivery company. And so, through a smart device, they have the ability to reconfigure the interior and maximize the interior space for cargo. So again, we're going to take that same standard eight passenger seating layout and now we're going to enable a better user experience for when you are perhaps going on a long trip with your family. And so what we have here is what we call campfire seating. So imagine you're on the road with your family. There's always a pain point or two. And so when your family decides to perhaps pull over, maybe get some snacks, maybe use the restroom, Again, with your smart device, you can take your standard eight passenger seating configuration and put it into what we call campfire seating. And in campfire seating, we enable a more socially interactive experience where you can take the third row seats and offset them to provide enough physical space for shoulders and hips. And the second row seats go into stadium mode and they swivel and they face rearward. So now your spouse can jump in the back seat, perhaps tell stories, play games, maybe do homework with the kids. And now the road trip, is no longer painful. So a much more collaborative, interactive social experience. A, a ride sharing scenario, again, the same standard eight passenger con seating configuration. And now perhaps you are working in Munich. You've been working through the night on a very important presentation for a client, but the team hasn't had time to finish the presentation. So you decide to call an autonomous ride share. And you enable what we call conference mode. And in conference mode seating, we were able to reconfigure the interior for maximum collaboration. And so the third row seats will again offset and move rearward to provide physical space for shoulders and hips. The second row seats, the outboard ones, will swivel and face each other. And the middle second row seat will go between the two front seats. And then all the seats actually will face each other. And now you've enabled a mobile meeting, a conference room at, 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 for what you will to allow for your team to collaborate before you're meeting with the customer. Right. What we see here is um, how we can integrate an e-machine um, to, to a powertrain to electrify it. We see here different uh, solutions. Uh, we can integrate the e-machine directly uh, into a uh, dual clutch system or we can um, build our own e-drive axle uh, for supporting all-wheel drive applications or plug-in hybrid applications. The special electric system is uh, consisting of uh, e-motor, of a power module, of a gearbox. Uh, 
we consider it as an um, entire system um, so that you can directly attach it or integrate it onto your front axle or rear, rear axle. Um, on the other hand, uh, we, we have such system solutions um, for 48 volts and for high voltage solutions. Um, and on the other hand, uh, we can integrate the e-motor directly into the gearbox to support uh, the, um, uh, to, to boost the performance of the, of the transmission system. Uh, the benefits uh, are uh, when you're using electrified powertrains, you can combine it with the combustion engine to reduce, for instance, uh, CO2 emissions. Um, and in terms of uh, full battery electric cars, uh, you can reduce it down to zero. Sure, so as one of the largest uh, ADOS suppliers in the marketplace, what we're talking about here today is, is really three key things. Um, we're talking about the right place to package the, the actual sensors themselves. And what that really does is that gives the OEMs uh, complete design freedom so they don't have to have ugly sensors sticking out of the vehicles. Two, we're also talking about because we understand the complete vehicle, where's the optimal place to place these sensors? Is it in a traditional sense or for a specific model or function? Does it make more sense to put them in a non-traditional place like, like a light or a, a, a rear light or even a mirror? And then third, obviously, our complete breadth of ADOS capabilities, whether it be our radar, our ultrasonics, our camera sensors, uh, or our even compute device, our domain controller. And I think, um, I think, really, there's a lot of people working on this space. Uh, we ourselves, we're looking at ways to, to combine our systems and make functions that will make people's lives easier, uh, make the roads safer, and really be more convenient for people. So we're looking at things like automated valet parking, um, highway pilot, applications like that, uh, 360 degree surround view, things that you know, will, will really influence or affect people in the near term, and then in the far term, obviously we're all looking at things like L4 and L5 driving. Uh, that may take a little bit of time, uh, and really I don't think anybody has a, a real clear picture of what that's going to be yet. That's it from the Magna stand here from the IAA 2019. And year by year, I'm quite surprised what they develop and deliver behind the scenes to make our life with our cars more easy, more comfortable and more safe. And that is something surprising because only experts know what Magna really is.